Once upon a time, there was a girl who lived in the merry old land of Dubtown, but she never really fitted in. It was no place for a strong, independent young woman. They had already marked her, and her little dog too, for wrongdoing, and she hadn't even done anything bad. Dorothy was now thinking about fading. Oh, what do you think, Cora? Is there really life beyond the watchtower? You know, I have a feeling we're not in dub time anymore. Are you a good pioneer or a bad apostate? Me? I'm not either. Well, the Munchkin elders called me at the service desk because you dropped a house on the apostate of the East. Excuse me, but who are you? I'm Mother Watchtower. And you need to stay away from the wicked apostates. Oh, but I don't know any apostates. <laughs> Wait, what was that? Oh, that's the Munchkin elders. They're laughing because I am an apostate. As Mother Watchtower, I apostatized from the church that Christ started. But I'm a good apostate. You can all come out now. It's safe. She's not a bad apostate. As mayor of the Munchkin City, in the county of the land of Oz, I welcome you most regally. But we've got to verify it legally. To see. If she. Is morally. Ethically. Spiritually. Physically. Positively, absolutely. Undeniably and reliably. An exemplary associate. Maybe she needs a Bible study first. We represent the Bible Study Guild, the Bible Study Guild, the Bible Study Guild, and in the name of the Bible Study Guild, we welcome you to Watchtower Land. La 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 Who killed the apostate of the West? Oh no, it was an accident. Stay away from her, you wicked old apostate. She's with us now. You have no power here. I'll bide my time. Watchtower can't hide the truth about the truth forever. I'll be watching. It's okay. You can get up now. She's gone. See how wicked those nasty apostates are? Now, Dorothy. The sooner you get close to Jehovah's governing body, the better. Oh, I'd just do anything to draw close to the governing body, but I just don't know the way. The governing body lives in a place called Bethel, in the Emerald Headquarters. Oh, I don't know. Before I came here, I was actually considering fading because of all the corruption and the child abuse and shunning. Oh no, dear. You must draw close to the governing body. Stay on the yellow brick road and read this watchtower, and it will lead you to the governing body. Remember, stay on this narrow-minded path, and don't listen to any wicked apostates. The great and powerful governing body will answer all of your questions in the Emerald Headquarters. Oh no. Now which way do I go? We think that's a good way to go. Or, or that, that way. That way's also good. <laughs> well, which way is it? Well, well, I don't know. Or you haven't got a brain. Only old watchtowers in here. And they keep changing their teaching so my mind doesn't know which way to go. How can you talk if you haven't got a brain? I don't know. But some elders without brains do an awful lot of talking, don't they? 
<laughs> well, yes, I guess you're right. Why don't you come with me to the Emerald Headquarters? And maybe the great and powerful governing body will give you a brain. Independent thinking. Wow, will the governing body really give me a brain to think for myself? Well, I'm not sure, but if you come with me, you could ask them. I've had watchtowers in my head where my brain should be for 40 years. It'll be quite a thing to think for myself. Oh, look, an apple tree. Careful, Dorothy. They are not trees of righteousness. Oi, get off. Oh, my. Didn't you read your Bible? No eating of the apples. You are a typical daughter of Eve. She didn't fall far from the tree, did she? Oh, sorry. Hello? Oh, no. This tin man seems to have become inactive. Well, my watchtower brain doesn't know much, but maybe we could oil him. Oh, good idea. Hello? Are you okay? Oh, bravo, thank you. Well, what happened to you, Mr. Tin Man? Oh, uh, my heart wasn't in it. I'd lost my joy, and I stopped moving down the yellow brick road to life. Well, we are going to see the great and powerful governing body. You could come too, and maybe they will help you become more wholehearted. Do you think you would? Yes, I do. Of course. But oh, it's getting late. I'm tired. And we've been walking on this road to life for so long. Mother Watchtower said it was just around the corner. <laughs> you call that long? Why, you've only just begun. Helping the little lady along, are you, my fine gentleman? You should stay away from the governing body. Their love is as empty as the Tin Man's chest. And you, Scarecrow, be careful no one burns those old publications in your head. Here's some new light to help you on your long road. <laughs> oh, we were warned not to talk to this wicked apostate. What should we do? Well, I'm not afraid of that old apostate. I will get you to the Emerald Headquarters, even if I can't think for myself. And I will go with you, even if I never get a heart, and my love remains conditional. Well, I think we should stay on the Yellow Brick Road, and follow Watchtower's direction. Yes, this way. Oh, no, wait. Is it that way? Oh, I think they changed it. I hate it when my head's full of old Watchtower flip-flops. This way. To Oz. Oh no, I don't like this. It's pretty dark in this forest. Of course, I don't know, but I think the path ought to be getting brighter and brighter, not darker. I don't like spiritual darkness. It's full of fear, obligation and guilt. Fear? Obligation? And guilt? Oh my. Fear? Obligation? And guilt? Oh my. Fear, obligation and guilt. Fear, obligation, and guilt. Oh my. Oh no! It's a spiritually weak lion! Oh dear! A bad associate! Shame on you, lion, for scaring these poor little JWs! Ha <laughs> ha! I'm sorry. I didn't hurt anyone. I'm just trying to be c c c courageous, like we were told to at the c c c convention. But I'm not strong. I'm weak. Spiritually weak. I haven't underlined my watchtower in weeks. I'm a fence sitter. I'm too scared to get baptised. Too frightened to walk away. <laughs> Aw, he's a Pimo. What is a Pimo? You know, physically in, mentally out. Do you think the great and powerful Gavin Buddy will be able to give him courage? Yes, Caroline. Get off the fence now and come with us. Oh, do you really think the governing body can help? Oh, yes. I've heard they are the one channel. So come with us. Oh, okay. Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we are to see the lizard, lizard the, the governing lizard, lizard of Oz. Oz. Finally, Dorothy and the rest of the riffraff arrive at the Emerald Headquarters. Say, yeah, 
Yes, what do you want? We've come to see the great and powerful governing body. What? Nobody sees the governing body, see? Not nobody, not no how. Oh, we've travelled a long way down the narrow-minded yellow brick road where the watchtower sent us to see the governing body. Uh-huh. Well, prove it. Well, she's wearing the ruby pioneer shoes appointed by mother organisation. Well, bust my buttons. Why didn't you say she had the special pioneer slippers? Come on in. <laughs> oh no, the apostate must have followed us here. Research JWFacts.com <laughs> What do we do? I don't have a brain, but I'm pretty sure the governing body will know what to do. There's nothing to worry about. The governing body has it all under control. I hope. So you can all go home. Go on now. Off you go. If you please, sir, we really need to see the great and powerful governing body. Nobody sees the governing body. Not nobody, not no how. But please, it's very important. Oh. Well, oh yes, mm, of course, you, you are Dorothy. Yeah, I, I will announce you at once. Who dares to approach the great and powerful governing body? Oh, well, it's me, the humble other sheep, Dorothy. We know who you are. We have your record cards in our hub database. Yes, I'm sure you do. But we heard you were the one true channel and hoped you would help us with our doubts. Go on. Oh, yes, well, Brother Lion has become physically and mentally out, lacking the courage to act. He must study his watchtower with several colouring pens to build faith. Okay, and, uh... Brother Tin Man has become inactive and is no longer wholehearted. What can he do? You, Tin Man, must learn to love the governing body. If this love overflows in you, it will prevent you from becoming inactive and unfruitful. And Brother Scarecrow, he has been outstanding in his field, but his head is only filled with watchtowers, and most of that is now spiritual darkness. Please help him to have a mind of his own. A mind of his own? Blasphemy! That's how Satan began. We are here in the seat of Moses. You don't want your friend to follow in the rebellious spirit of Korah, do you? Of course not. It's not independent thinking he needs. It's a jolly good clear out in his head. Remove all those old watchtowers and only keep present truth in there. Oh well, thank you. And what about you, Dorothy? What are your doubts? Well, I've begun to see the corruption. And then there's the shunning policy and the whole child abuse thing. Who has been filling your head with these satanic lies? You are on a dangerous path and must, oh, pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Hey, who are you? Uh, hey, uh, uh, I am the great uh, and powerful governing body. Well, you might not have a brain, but even I can see that you're just a man. Who appointed you to this position? Well, I did, of course. And do you seriously think you're the one true channel between us and God? Well, I think that that would be presumptuous to say that. I'm just a man, making it up as I go. But you say Jesus appointed you, and that we can't know the Bible without your help. Well, yes, we have to keep up this act or we would lose our emerald headquarters sheep need shepherds you know and you what you have seen here must remain secret so the apostates were right they were telling the truth this whole time and it was you who has been lying all this time it's not lying it's theocratic warfare and you are all prisoners of war now and must be locked away in one of our bunkers <laughs> Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm no longer Pimo. I'm Pomo. And I am out of here.
<laughs> you will never get out of here. There is no dignified way to leave the land of Oz. This way, my pretties. I can help you escape. So you saw those false prophets for what they are? Oh yes, that was just awful. There's nothing more painful than learning the truth about the truth. But it can also be a beautiful thing. Welcome to your freedom. Climb aboard. Oh, I don't know how to thank you. All us apostates are here to help you. When you're ready, there's no place like freedom. There's no place like freedom. You know you can.